Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the English language test for grade 6. But before, don't forget on the real exam to write your name, school, and class. Okay, let's start. The first question is listening 1. You are going to hear 5 short texts. For each text, there is one statement is true and one statement is false. So listen and shade in the bubble under the correct option. Okay, I'm going to start telling the listening. Make sure you listen carefully and write your answers. Are you ready? Number 1. Salem enjoys playing football. One day, he visited his friend and they played football in the garden. They were happy and excited. Number 2. Ahmed likes to spend his holidays traveling abroad. Last summer, he went to the USA and he enjoyed a lot. Number 3. Tom likes fishing. One day, he went to the sea with his friends and they caught a big fish. They all were excited. Number 4. Mona loves shopping. Last weekend, she decided to go shopping, but her sister was sick and she stayed at home. Number 5. Susie loves to spend her holidays in visiting different countries. Last summer, she was in Oman and she saw the amazing forts. Have you got your answers? Well done. If you didn't, make sure you go back and listen again for the second time and write your answers. Now, let's review the answers together in 3, 2, 1. Great. So, the answer for number 1, Salim played football with his friend. The statement is true. Number 2, Ahmed liked his visit to the USA. True. 3. Tom went to the sea for swimming. The answer is false. 4. Mona went shopping with her sister. The answer is false. Her sister was sick. Number 5. Susie visited Oman in her holiday. The statement is true. Next question is listening to items from 6 to 10. You are going to listen again a short text about Mustafa this time. Listen and for each item, shade in the bubble next to the correct option. Okay, are you ready again? Mustafa lived with his grandfather on his farm. He was 12 years old. He had a job to do on the farm. He had to wake up early every day to feed the chickens and get their eggs. One morning, Mustafa went outside to do his job. He reached the chicken house and got three eggs from the first chicken. Then he got two eggs from the second chicken. When he reached the third chicken, he felt a huge egg under it. He couldn't believe it. The egg was very strange. It was much bigger and heavier than the others. He pulled it and looked at it with surprise. Mustafa laughed and laughed. The chicken was sitting on a baseball because it thought it was an egg. Okay, have you got your answers? Well done. If you didn't, then it's okay. Go back and listen again for the second time, then write your answers. Okay, together, let's view the answers in 3, 2, 1. Great. The answer for number 6, Mustafa lived on his grandfather's farm. Number 7, he collected the chicken eggs in the morning. Number 8, he got 3 eggs from the first chicken. Number 9, the last chicken was sitting on a baseball. Number 10, there were 3 chickens on the farm. Well done. Moving on to the next question, vocabulary items from 1 to 5. Under each picture, write the correct word as in the example here, cat. Okay, let's solve this together. All you have to do is write what you see in the picture with correct spelling. So the answer for number 1 is correct. That's lion, L-I-O-N. The answer for number 2 is grater, exactly, G-R-A-T-E-R. -E number 3 that's a net, a spider net, N-E-T. Number four, yes, it's a rope, R-O-P-E. And the last one, number five, correct, that's volleyball, V-O-L-L-E-Y-B-A-L-L, -L -L, volleyball. Okay, the next question is grammar items from six to ten. Here you have to complete each sentence with one word only. Okay, read the questions carefully. I will give you time or you can pause the video. Then I'll review the correct answers. Are you ready? Have you got your answers? Great, let's solve number six. How blank sisters have you got? The answer is many. How many sisters have you got? Number seven, he blank reading a story now. The answer is 
is he is reading a story now number eight blank smoking the answer don't smoking or no smoking number nine blank are you from the answer is where are you from number 10 who blank you mathematics teacher the answer is teaches who teaches you mathematics teacher teacher ali al baloji great well done let's move on to the next question grammar vocabulary items 11 to 20 for each item shade in the bubble next to the correct option so you have a small box here and plenty of words 11 to 20 you have to choose wisely the correct word that matches with the sentence okay let's solve together and view the answers in three two one let's read together green is a beautiful color in forest the grass that you walk on is green and the leaves that you see on trees are usually green most of so basically the answers only you have to do is you have choices here you have to match with the sentence for example in 15 you can say most by or most in or most on so you have to say most of the plants see the of is the correct answer so most of the plants that you see are green too green is also the name used to describe the products that do not damage earth green products are often made from recycled items have you understood you have choices you have to match each word on the sentence if it's correct or not so these were the answers i hope you got your answers correct too next is reading one items one to five here you have to match the text with the picture for each text shade in the bubble under the correct option i think this is your favorite task here you have text match each text with the correct picture let's solve together number one aisha usually helps her mother to gather some carrots for salad where do you think the picture matches the text exactly the picture is a number two sammy likes skating in his holiday he goes skating with his friends he feels excited okay so where's the picture that matches the text exactly that's picture f number three i like traveling in public transport to see different cultures i usually choose buses where's the bus in the picture correct it's picture c number four breakfast is the most important meal of the day the omani breakfast often includes eggs cheese bread tea and juice so where do you see a picture of breakfast correct that's picture d and the last one number five she loves drawing and painting she usually makes beautiful pictures she likes to be a famous artist so where do you see a cute little artist in the picture correct that's picture b okay now you have reading two items six to ten read the text for each question write a short answer but not more than four words okay but before reading make sure you read the questions very carefully so number six who sent the email seven where does he spend his holiday eight how is the weather there nine what is his younger brother doing ten what do his mom and dad always have for dinner okay after reading the question let's move on and read in the box dear munir i'm writing to tell you about my holiday in italy i'm having a wonderful time here we are visiting a beautiful town by the sea the hotel we are staying at is nice and quiet it's got a lovely swimming pool the weather is hot and sunny right now i'm sitting outside a fantastic coffee shop on the beach my younger brother ahmed is trying to make a sand house dad is visiting some very old buildings in the town he enjoys visiting the old places mom is buying some items from the shops she loves going to shops every night we have dinner in restaurants mom and dad always have seafood but i never like it i prefer chicken it's so delicious the weather at night is fantastic the people here are very friendly i love it here well that's all for now see you next week yours mazen great now after reading let's view the answers okay the answer for number six who sent the email 
The answer is Mazen. 7. Where does he spend his holiday? The answer is in Italy. 8. How is the weather there? He said, hot and sunny. Number 9. What is his younger brother doing? He's trying to make a sand house. 10. What do his mom and dad always have for dinner? The answer is seafood. Moving on to the next question, which is writing one. Write about the picture. Write at least 40 words. You can use the words in the box. Okay, I will give you time. Look at the picture, read the words in the box, and write your answers. Have you wrote your answers? Great, because all you have to do here is look at the picture and use the words in the box to write your own words. So you can write like this. In the picture, I can see a boy with black eyes and yellow hair. He is wearing a suit, sitting in the chair and playing a piano. He is smiling and looks very happy like he is singing while playing at the piano. I love the piano. The last question of this exam is writing two. You have to write a biography about an Omani navigator called Ahmed bin Majid. Use all the information in the box. Your paragraph should be correct and well organized. Okay, remember to always use all the words given in the box to get full marks. So now I will give you time again to write your own writing. Then I will review the answer in three, two, one. Ahmed ibn Majid is an Arab navigator. He was born in Oman specifically in the year 1432. He discovered Brazil while he was on his way to India. Also, he wrote many books of useful information about navigation. Ahmed ibn Majid died in the year 1500. Just always remember on these questions to use the words given in the box, all of them. And I promise your writing will be correct, inshallah. Here we have reached the end of our exam. I hope you learned a lot of things. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.